I want to ask, why the hate amongst us? What exactly is the problem? Today, I want to address a very important issue about we Africans who live abroad. So don't go away, stay with me and hear me out. Of real talk for real my name is Chi Chi I've come to a conclusion the majority of blacks who live abroad hate each other we all pretend a lot and act like everything is okay but I tell you nothing at all is okay and there is no better time to talk about this thing I want to say but now because things are getting really out of hand why the hate what is the problem why do we have this so much problem amongst us because Europe is big enough to contain everybody and is a place with endless opportunities for everyone to grow. But we prefer to get busy hating each other, beefing one another. We all remember this incident that happened in South Africa, how South African indigenes attacked other Africans from different countries, mostly Nigerians. And we're all shouting, South Africans, South Africans, we think this is where it started and ended? I tell you, no. This thing that went wrong in South Africa is happening right here in Europe. We do it, and we do exactly the same thing to each other here in Europe. And this is barbaric. There is this incident that happened in Spain where a Kenya guy hurt his fellow African, a Nigerian woman. The, these two people walk in the kitchen and one day he incidentally burned her skin with a hot fry pan without even saying sorry, without even showing any remorse about it. It was even other colleagues, Europeans, there are other colleagues, Europeans, that ran to her to help her and sympathize with her. And guess what this guy did? This Kenyan guy did. He stood there moping at this woman while she groaned in pain. I know most of you will sit down there and like, what is she saying? She's swimming another story. I tell you, this is not a story at all because this woman in question is my mom. She has been complaining about this guy for a very long time because this guy actually went on, was on sick leave and she got this job. But after he came back from his sick leave and noticed that my mom and saw that my mom is working there. He stopped like <laughs> my mom complains about him and like, my God, every other of my colleagues, my the European colleagues, they are nice to me. They will say hello to each other, but this guy comes in, my mom will say hello to him. He will never ever respond. So I told her, okay, mommy, this is Europe. Whatever it is, just mind your business and just face your job. Sorry, I don't want to go into details about it because I actually took permission from my mom to share a part of the story. And the reason why I'm bringing up this Thing is that why I'm sharing this is for us we Africans to see how low self-esteemed we are fighting our fellow black brothers and sisters and this should stop I don't know why we treat ourselves like animals why we hate each other you see wherever you go you see black sisters fighting each other tearing their clothes you see two grown-up women with kids fighting each other you see, black brothers, African brothers fighting one another. You know, even at the, you see some people don't even, are not happy when they see their fellow Africans walking in the same place. You prefer to be the only African man or woman working in a company. And when you see your fellow brother or sister there, you're like, you want to kill yourself. You know, have you imagined, can you, have you ever imagined seeing two German women fighting on the street? Man, these people are too civilized. They are too civilized. You can't. You have you all see German men, two German men disgracing themselves at workplace or any other place. You know. But we Africans, what do we do? Hate, 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 hate. We get the same treatment from some Europeans or some white people, white race, you know, some race, some other race. You know, the the so where not everybody 
You know, but there are some people who actually take exactly what you do to your fellow brothers. They see you doing it to your fellow brothers and sisters, and they do the same. You know, there was a day, like the other day, um, at a petrol station, a white guy bumped into me and started insulting me. He told me, nigger, do piss nigger, do affair. Was showing us sort of things like I am a monkey and was like, qua, 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 qua. and I was moping at him like I was surprised, you know. He was, you know, doing like, like this is, he was telling me, yeah, so mark ear, so mark, so mark ear vast, so yeah, mark feet and affair, qua, 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 qua. And I know how bad I felt that day. And there is this other incident that happened again to me. This time was a German guy, a local, barged my car. <laughs> I, 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 did, I really didn't do anything. I coming out from my, my park plats, my parking space, and he had to enter. And the next thing, he was impatient for whatever reason, I don't know. Barged my car, started yelling in his car already. And in fact, he barged my car twice, went front, hit it and went again and hit it again and was yelling at the same time in his car came out insulted he said all sort of things yes you know things like that and yeah mm -hmm. he called me nigger i'm like this time i was really looking at like you know i couldn't say a word because which bad i do I didn't do anything. I'm leaving a parking space for you to go in. It was your fault and all that, you know? And But this thing, at this day, the guy met the wrong person, you know, because my cool cannot be kept for a long time, you know? And But in this case, didn't end that way. When things like this happen, what am I trying to say? When things like this happen, I don't blame some of this. Some people, I do, some of those people, these Europeans, I don't blame them. It's so painful when they insult me like this. I don't blame them. Why? Because they see where we Africans are coming from. They see how we treat each other. They see how we behave. They see where we come from. You know? And they know we don't treat each other with respect. And they also see, they, don't, they see we don't, we don't appreciate one another. And they sit on, in, in their houses, on the TV, and see how dirty our Africa is our environment how people suffer there and they understand that our government don't give a damn about us see hunger suffering everywhere they're like if you are the leader can treat your people like this why shouldn't i you know so this is getting really on my nerves and i'm telling we africans we have to just stop this madness it's annoying why the hate so the, most of those people use the opportunity to treat us exactly how they want. What I observe is that the white, they respect themselves a lot. They respect where they come from. It's, have you seen where they sing their national anthem? They, they are like, with all courage, because they are singing for their country. That place where, that takes care of them, that makes them feel like one. Having to sing, in a movie or in, on, on the news where an American is in trouble in a foreign land, the American government will make sure they protect that person till they bring that person back home. Or a German or an Australian. You know, in most of those developed countries, they protect their own thing. They protect themselves. But we Africans, what do we do? Hate. Backbiting. Hypocrites. We hate one another. You know, we, we are good at using this word. You see a black person, hey, my African sister, hey, my African brother. And we don't mean it. We don't mean it. We can see. We don't mean it. We pretend a lot about it. And this is hypocrite. Even in the church. <laughs> that one is, is a no-go area. Worshipping together is zero. For us big zero have you looked around you muslims are everywhere in europe but they go in germany or maybe in a small city in germany you find just one mosque one no tell yourself the truth how many mosques do you find around you how many mosques do you find around you they go together and worship together just in one place i don't understand the need for 
Nigerian church, Congo church, Cameroon church, Ghana church. Even the Nigerian church is now segmented into different parts. They have the Igbo church, Yoruba church, Bini church, you know, and they say, and they are even proud and happy about the division. You know, and this one day we are going to one day we are going to have Calabar Church and Aousa Church. No, very soon in my city, very soon we are going to have Calabar Church and Aousa Church. And later they will tell me they will say it is for the glory of God. We are dividing for the glory of God. Which God? We call God all the time. God, 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 God. With all the faith pastors around everywhere, for crying out loud, you are so hating everybody. You see, the the Cameroon person don't want a, don't like a Nigerian pastor. A Ghana person don't like a Cameroon pastor. A Cameroon pastor don't like... What is wrong with us? Where is the love? Why the division? So what I'm trying to say is, we that live abroad, whether you are in America, you are in the United Kingdom, you are in Australia, name it anywhere. Here in Europe, like for instance here in Germany, there are lots and lots of opportunity. Nobody is blocking your way. What a Mr. A can have, a Mr. B can have it too. What a Nigerian has achieved, a Cameroonian, a Ghanaian, a Senegalese, a Gambian, a Congolese can achieve it too. You know, one thing you should know is that when you see a black, an African like you, being successful, a successful black person or a successful African here around you or wherever you stay, maybe the person has a car because I see so many of many of us in Europe here, you see a black person driving a car, you think, you think it's a big deal. No, it's not. When you find your black person, your, your fellow black or fellow African achieve all those things or the person have bought a house or you find a black person as a boss in a company. It's not time for you to start being jealous or start beefing. It is time for you to know that, wow, this is a hope for you. It should be a hope for you that if this black person, this man or woman, if she is able or he is able to achieve those things, that gives you hope that you as a person too, as a black, can achieve it. Even if the person is a white man or a white woman, you can achieve it. There is no limitation to your success. Here, here in Europe, there is no limitation. You can get to wherever you want to get to. Because now one head will then get, nine you, you get. So why being lazy, beefing around? Stand up. As long as you work hard for your stuff, you work hard for what you're doing, you know what you're doing. It's really not time to stop beefing. I see a lot of people too, they beef Nigerians a lot. And you have to stop that. If you have a Nigerian as a friend, you should learn when you have a Nigerian who can, who you know, he or she minds her business. It's not time because I see a lot of people, they open their white mouth. Oh, no, Nigeria, eh? Oh, no, Nigeria. Sometimes I feel like, what is... God save you. God save you, stay with the euro because people can open their mouth and say rubbish. And if you look at those people, Nigerians are their friends. Nigerians are their boyfriends. They sneak and fuck Nigerians. Sorry, I have to say that word. But in, 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 when we come in public, you start to claim as if say, no, what do you they claim for? If we talk about Nigerians, I'm not talking about right Nigerians right now. So what I'm trying to say is, let's stop beefing each other. If you find a black brother or a black sister who is a very good friend to you, learn from that person. Or they call Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. In your home, you play Nigerian music. In your in your car, you play Nigerian music. If you if you know watch home video, you me will be Nigerian girl. You know home video, home videos past me. In your party, if they never play Nigerian music, but you never start. You call Nigerians, Nigerians. What are these hate for? What are these hates for? Nigerian, are we talking about Nigerians? If you, a, if you are from another country and you are married to a Nigerian, look, check yourself around. If you they suffer, then look yourself very well. Because first of all, Nigerian men, they take, very, this is our Nigerian men, they take very good care of their women. Most of them, when you are, most of them, or is it our Nigerian women, we take very good care of our men. What are you saying? So what I'm trying to say is stop hating each other. Stop, stop it. Focus on your, in your life. Focus no big problem carry you come to europe focus on your life let's learn to love one another let's learn to be together please okay let me calm down i'm sorry with my tone but it's painful to see our black brothers and sisters 
hating each other. So my fellow black, please, let's learn to love one another. Let's learn to be at ease with one another. Let's learn to watch out for each other. And more especially, let's learn to be at ease with ourselves. And that is civilization. That is the civilization. Thank you guys for watching. This is Real Talk For Real and I'm sharing with love. Don't forget to follow me up on Facebook and Instagram for more interesting videos. And if you have something troubling you or you have something you want me to share, just send me an email and I will get it, get it ready and put it there. Till I come your way again, continue to love one another. Bye!